Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love tarot read. These are for entertainment purposes only, so with that guys, just take the parts that speak for you and leave the rest. If you do require a personal reading guys, all the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Equally, guys, if you do enjoy this reading, um, if it does resonate, if it does speak to you, let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing here today. Okay, Leo, so in front of you, you can see that six cards have already been laid out purely for the purpose of saving time. Uh, we will unpack these cards together, but in the meantime, I am beginning to shuffle the Twin Flame Oracle deck that I have created um we are going to see what the overall energy and feel of the upcoming week feels like for you around love and relationships whether you are single whether you are committed there is a message here for everybody okay so whoever you have on your mind is who we're reading for and for you singles this could be the upcoming person or the person that's coming into your life so let's take a look and see what the overall energy is feeling like for the upcoming week for the sign of Leo. Spirit angels and guides. Okay, we have one. Also, Leo, do stick around to the very end because I will draw an animal spirit card to draw in some extra messages surrounding your person. Okay, so you've got the validation card. Someone's needing approval, okay? Someone's needing validation in the upcoming week. This could be you, Leo. It could be the person that you are thinking of, uh, the person that you're connected to here. This person wants to feel accepted. There's someone here that wants to feel accepted by the other person. Um, you could be dealing with someone who has tattoos, uh, this person may have long, dark hair as well, okay, because the image is of a woman with tattoos all the way down her back and she's got long, dark hair. This woman may have dark skin as well or have tan skin. Um, it may even be spray tan skin, okay, uh, or it could be that this, this woman or this person, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, um, I'm getting sort of like a tribal um, cultural background. So they come from some kind of cultural background here. Okay, so that's the overall influence in the upcoming week. So let's take a look at the tarot cards and see how this card marries in with the rest of the cards. You've got the judgment in reverse. You've got the king of cups in reverse. You've got the ten of pentacles, the sun the five of wands in reverse and the three of cups. So the signs of the person that you could be dealing with here with the knight of cups, it could be a strong water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. With the sun, you could be dealing with another Leo or an Aries here. Okay. Now, if I haven't mentioned the sign of your person, that's okay, Leo. It could just mean that this person that you're dealing with um, is embodying these characteristic traits of these archetypes. Okay. All right, Leo. So I'm getting a couple of different messages here with the judgment and the Knight of Cups. Okay. The first one here is that someone is holding back. Someone that you're dealing with is holding back from really expressing their truth or expressing themselves to you. Um, we do have little to no contact occurring here. Someone may be distancing themselves emotionally because someone was judged um, incorrectly in the recent past. Okay. Um, I feel with the judgment in reverse that someone isn't feeling good enough. Now, it could be this person here that you're dealing with or it could be you. Okay, whatever is happening in your romantic life or in your current situation, someone is judging very harshly on themselves. Okay, they're saying things like, I'm not good enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm just not enough. Okay, I'm not successful enough, um, I'm not smart enough, 
um, yeah, so someone is feeling empty, is feeling a void on the inside. And so what is occurring in return is that someone here, either yourself or the person that you're dealing with, is seeking approval outside of themselves. So, for example, this person could be doing things to try and fit in. Okay, trying to do things to fit in, to feel like they are a part of something here. Um, so, for example, Leo, this is an example. If your person is into tattoos, you might go out and get a tattoo or vice versa. Um, if you like long hair or dark hair, this person may go out and color their hair dark to feel like they're accepted and that you approve of them, okay? Or vice versa, okay? T turn the story around how it fits. This person may feel like uh, they need to be successful here. You know, we've got the Ten of uh, Pentacles, which does speak to success, um, career. This person may feel like they know that you're after some kind of uh, career-driven person. So they may feel like they need to achieve or succeed in their business or their career to feel validated or approved or accepted by yourself or vice versa, Leo. Okay, so I feel like this person is telling themselves like they're not good enough, you know, they're not successful enough, they're not smart enough, they're not making enough money. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. But it's a different story. Like this person is good enough. They are successful enough. They, This person just, you know, when I see the Ten of Pentacles, this is an energy of wanting to fit in, like wanting to feel like they belong. And so at this current time, this person doesn't feel like they belong in your world or like they don't fit in your world or they don't fit the, the model of what you're looking for or they don't fit that particular person that you're seeking. Like they, this person just doesn't feel like they're good enough or maybe you don't feel like you're good enough for this person. Okay, now when the Knight of Cups is in reverse, this is telling me that this person is undergoing some emotional instability. Okay, so their emotional thinking, okay, this person is, um, their emotional thinking is getting to them. And so you may experience this person to retreat or withdraw. Uh, you may feel that you're emotionally down even, Leo. Okay. Now, you're showing up in your read here. We've got the Sun card. This is really positive, okay? So regardless of what's going on, Leo, um, there is positivity and happiness surrounding you. So if you're experiencing the other person um, withdrawing or going through some kind of withdrawals, just stay positive, okay? Be yourself. We've got the sun here, so just be yourself, just be your natural self. I feel like regardless of what's going on internally, we can see internal conflict occurring here for you, Leo. Regardless of what inner turmoil or inner conflict or inner battle that you are experiencing right now, um, other people are perceiving you to be happy, positive and sunny um, they may witness like your inner child coming out. You may be more playful than usual. And this could be just a little bit of a facade. Okay. This is just to hide the fact that you're really, that you really are struggling underneath, but your ego and your pride doesn't want to let the other person know that you're struggling. Okay. Um, now with the three of cups here, this is, um, socializing. This is social dates. Uh, this is parties, uh, celebrations. Um, there may even be a reunion with this water sign. If you're dealing with a water sign here, there may be a, a reunion with this uh, person that you care for here. Um, but I do see 
the best thing for you right now, Leo, is to mingle with those who support you. Okay, the, the Three of Cups really does speak to a network of people that have your back, that support you, that love you, that care about you. This is friendships. This is family. These are soulmate friends. These are so this is your soulmate family. This is your soulmate tribe. Okay. So um to stay on top of that positive thinking is to is to mingle with the people that can really support you on an emotional level right now. So if you're feeling a little bit challenged internally and you're going through something internally, just you've got some people around you that can really lift your spirits and I see them doing a really good job of that, okay? These may be people that you work with. Um, hmm. See, also too, you may feel like this person, it's just a, it's a casual thing for this person or vice versa. You know, when I see the Three of Cups, I do see a friends with benefits situation going on here. The person that you're dealing with may feel like um, that you just want a FWB relationship. This person may feel like you just want something casual with them, hence why they don't feel good enough for you, hence why maybe, you know, this woman is naked um, on bed sheets here. So this person feels or yourself just feels like maybe you're being used for sex or maybe they're using their body to attract you, Leo, because... This is their way of filling that void. If they feel that you, they can seduce you or attract you with their body or their appearance, this validates them, but it's only, it's very superficial. It's very surface level. It's very surface based. Deep down inside, they know um, it's not the way to go, but in the meantime, it works, okay? In the short term, it works. They want to feel needed or validated by you, Leo, or vice versa, okay? But um, overall, I do feel there is a brief encounter or a brief reunion with this person. There is some kind of reunion or getting together here. I still feel that the person that you're dealing with is keeping their opinions uh, to themselves. I don't feel like they're completely opening up and telling you the truth. They are keeping something to themselves. And on the outside, they are appearing like everything is okay. But I do feel like some inner child wound has been triggered here. They are struggling with this. They are dealing with this. They are battling with this. person that you're dealing with may um, be focusing on work or career right now or maybe you are Leo okay this person may have a family as well I am seeing three people in this card or there could be three people I mean we see three people in this card and three people in that card so there could be a third party energy here and for whatever reason that's stopping you from coming together Okay, let's just get some more energies surrounding your person in question, Leo. Let's see what else our Leos need to know when it comes to their special person or person in question. Okay, we have our card and that is the beaver. Okay, so the downward pointing triangle does speak to water, Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Like I said, you could be strongly dealing with um, a, a water sign here or someone who is heavy in their negative emotions, okay? We're seeing a lot of dark energy in both of these cards. So this person is holding on to something here. I'm seeing this beaver as kind of like swollen or puffed up. So I do feel like this person is holding on to some kind of negative emotions and it's almost swallowing them whole. Um, they are trying to keep positive here. Um, the beaver is a very friendly energy, okay? I do believe this person is coming through as very friendly, as very kind, um, 
very positive, very happy, happy-go-lucky. The beaver also represents someone who is a family man or a family person. Okay, this person may have children, like I said earlier. This person may have children or this person may want children. But this is someone who is all about the family. This is someone who is very loyal here. But I do strongly feel with this beaver energy that this person is holding on to some kind of negative emotions. Like I said earlier, if there was um, some criticism um, in the recent past, this person is holding on to that. Okay, they, they haven't let that go. Um, maybe that came from you, Leo. Maybe you said it in passing, probably never gave it a second thought, but this person is holding on to it. They are feeling resentful. They are taking it personally. So there, that's all we've got for you today, Leo. Hope you enjoyed this read. Until next time, take care.